Ready? Go for it.
physical controls, it was pretty much defraud. He was writing it off of um, Zumbia, which is the wraps that or the wrapping company for the bottles such as Pepsi and Cola. And he was writing off those checks to um, with their name, but putting to his account. Uh, the solution would be segregation of duties. Um, prior to that is also the establishment of responsibilities. So they would just put in charge one person and then now they'll know who's um, who's messing around with the cash and they'll know who to blame. to review their documents, but they failed to assign the task to a specific employee within their company, and a person from another department that had a different responsibility was not assigned to check and compare James Ham's transactions to their reports. Um, also, no one from the upper management level oversaw and verified transactions being made. Therefore, discrepancies and, and ex exceptions were easily made by hands. Pains. With no internal auditors periodic and periodic surprise verifications, it is easy for Haynes to learn all the ins and outs of the company and he wrote six figure checks to false vendors and was able to embezzle over eight million dollars without the company even knowing and find out. Okay. And the human resource control was violated. It's violated because the company has failed to validate their controller, James Haynes, during their payment collection. There was no bond employee who handled cash, and there was no mention where the insurance company along with G&J. There was no designated employees when it's come to handling cash. Um, Haynes had full control of the accounts, and there was no supervision of his work. So he initiated an authorized record and review of his own transaction by small increments at a time during his personal account while managing the business account professionally. There was also no rotation of the employee's duties. There was mentions of Haynes going on vacation but not an authorized official vacation. He mentioned that he had a software company being a licensed pilot, used all the investment of the software company for scuba diving trips to Caribbean. All these events happened before his indictment of g &J. There was no mention of background checks since he has been in the company for a long time, so they feel that it wasn't necessary anyway. So our solution is to treat your employees well, make sure they set boundary to prevent being taken advantage of. Employees should only work only a minimum given hours and required to take vacation, authorized one. Be sure to hire the right employees, rotate the employees' duties, review the employee work, education verification for degrees of accredited institution, and also employee verification of a position and length of employment and the reason why you leave off their previous employer. Any questions? No? All right, awesome. Thank you. Hey guys.